Jessica Welch, and I chose a speech, I Just Sued the School System, by Prince EA. I chose this speech because I feel like myself, many of my peers can relate to the dilemma that is the school system. It uses this one size fits all when it comes to teaching, as if it's like that when it comes to learning, but it isn't. People learn differently, such as reading, writing, watching, listening, doing. It causes many people to leave school early believing that they are stupid, but I feel this, this speech highlights the message that they are not stupid, and in fact they haven't failed school. Instead, the school system has failed them. Albert Einstein once said, everyone is a genius, but if you judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, today on trial we have modern day schooling. Glad you could come. Not only does he make fish climb trees, but he also makes them climb down and then do a 10 mile run. Tell me, school, are you proud of the things you've done? Turning millions of people into robots, do you find that fun? Do you realize how many students relate to that fish swimming upstream in classes believing that they are useless? Well, the time has come, no more excuses. I call school to the stand and accuse them of killing creativity, individuality, and being intellectually abusive. He is an ancient institution that has lived his usage. So, Your Honor, this concludes my opening statement, and if you allow me to c open my case, I will prove it. I did a little background check on you, and let the records show you were made to train people to work in factories, which explains why you put your students in nice, neat rows, tell them to sit still, raise their hand if they want to speak, give them a short break to eat, and for eight hours a day, tell them what to think. Oh, and you make them compete to get an A. A letter which determines product quality. Hint, grade A of meat. I get it. Back then, times were different. We all have our past. I myself am no Gandhi, but do we really need to make robot zombies? Time has progressed. We need people to think creatively, individuality, and with the ability to connect. You see, every scientist will tell you no two brains are the same, and every parent with two or more children will confirm that claim. So why? Do we treat our students like cookie cutter frames or snap back hats giving that one size fits all? But if a doctor prescribed the exact same medicine for all of his patients, results would be tragic. So many people get sick. Yet why do we do this with education? This educational malpractice where one teacher stands in front of 20 students, each one having different strengths, different needs, different gifts, different dreams, and you teach them the exact same thing, the exact same way? That's horrific, ladies and gentlemen. The defendant should not be acquitted. This may be one of the worst criminal offenses ever to be committed. And let's not mention the way you treat your employees. Let's face it, teachers have the most important job on the planet, yet they're underpaid. No wonder so many students are shortchanged. A doctor and a teacher should get paid just as much because a doctor can perform heart surgery and save the life of a child, but a great teacher can reach the heart of a child and teach them how to truly live. You see, teachers are heroes that often get blamed, but they aren't the problem. They work in a system with not much rights or options. Curriculums are just made by policymakers who haven't even taught in a day of their life, just obsessed with standardized tests and believe bubbling in a multiple choice question will determine success. How outlandish! In fact, these tests are too crude to be used and should be abandoned, but don't take my word for it. Take Frederick J. Keeley, the man who invented standardized tests, who said, and I quote, These tests are too crude to be used and should be abandoned. Ladies and gentlemen, if we continue down this road, results will be lethal. I don't have much faith in school, but I have faith in people. And if we can customize healthcare cards and Facebook pages, then it is our duty to do the same with education, to upgrade and change. Do away with school spare, because that's useless, unless we're trying to reach the spare of every student. No more common core. Let's reach the core of every heart in every class. Sure, maths is important, but no more than art and dance. Let's give every gift an equal chance. I know this sounds like a dream, but countries like Finland are doing impressive things. They have shorter days, teachers make a decent wage, and homework is non-existent. They focus on collaboration instead of competition. 
And here's the kicker, boys and girls. Their educational system outperforms every other country in the world. Places like Singapore are succeeding rapidly. But Montessori programs like Kyang Academy, there's no single solution, but let's get moving because while students may be 20% of our population, they're 100% of our future. And why don't we attend to their dreams? Because there's no telling what we can achieve. In a world which I believe, a world where fish are no longer forced to climb trees. Brilliant. Good girl. I was just